Good morning. My name is Kawaii Fit, and I'm a realtor here in Anchorage, Alaska. Today, we're going to be talking about the value of your home and how do you find out what the true value of your home is. When we say value, we mean market value. And when we say the market value, we mean the current market value. So if you purchased your house eight years ago for $250,000, chances are it's not going to be worth $250,000 today. It could be more or it could be less maybe. But the way we derive the market value is we compare all the other properties that are similar to yours in the same neighborhood or your neck of the woods and all of those properties that have recently closed. So sometimes we can go back six months and have a handful of good comparable properties. Sometimes we might have to go back a year. It really depends on the market. But we'll take all of those so recently sold properties that are similar to your property and in the same neighborhood or similar surroundings location. The reason why we take sold properties versus properties that are on the market, sold properties means that there was at one point houses for sale for X amount of dollars and there were buyers in the market looking to buy a house and those buyers found the property that was listed for sale at X amount of dollars and the buyer said, you know, that, that market or that value of that house seems to be pretty spot on. And so they actually submit an offer, they went under contract, and they purchased the house. That means that the market value, that means that the people and the buyers who are in the market right now looking at individual houses, they really have a good sense as to, oh yeah, that property is way overpriced, or you know what, that property seems about right. So when they go under contract, and when they agree, the buyer and the seller, on a specific price for that house, that's the market value of that property. If we were to go off of the properties that are on the market right now and those values to find out what the true market value of your property would be, let's say you have a crazy neighbor and you, you guys live in a neighborhood that's about $300,000 homes to $450,000 homes, okay? Like, that's your neighborhood. And let's say one of your neighbors thinks that they were going to put their house on the market and they want to list it for $800,000. Everybody in the neighborhood knows that's crazy. It's never going to sell for $800,000. But that neighbor could find a realtor who could take the listing for $800,000 and put it on the market. Probably most buyers are going to realize, yeah, that's overpriced. That is not correctly priced. But we don't want to take the chance of, of saying that your house could be worth $800,000 because your neighbor is saying that his house is worth $800,000. That does not mean that he has a buyer right now who said, yes, I'll pay $800,000 for your house. We think that is what it's valued. So that's why we really go off of sold properties. And then once we start looking through the sold properties, we determine location. We have to compare all these different parts and pieces from the sold properties to your property to find out your market value. So we talk about location. We talk about the square footage of the houses. You can compare larger houses to smaller houses. We like to stick within similar square footage. We like to look at the different styles, the conditions and the anemones. We want to make sure that everything's correct, you know, not correct. We want to make sure that the conditions are similar. And if they're not, we price adjust with accordingly. Then we want to know how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, that kind of thing. If it's a duplex, if there's a mother-in-law in one of these, you know, how many garage bays are there? There's a lot that goes into comparing all the properties to find the true market value of your property. But that's how we do it. If you have any more questions, please ask away. And also, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.